What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is my dysfunctional review on the Royal Reserve Private Reserves by Illusionist and Jeremy Griffith. Let's get into it. What a deck of cards. Can't stress it enough. These are truly amazing. You know what? Taking this off. This glare is killing me. Anyway, sorry about that. So, what we have here is the Royal Reserve Private Reserve Edition cards by Illusionist Playing Cards and Jeremy Griffith. Um, let me give you a quick background on these real quick, guys. It was only about 2,000 of these printed. Um, Illusionist gave out uh, somewhere around like 800 of these, you know, through close friends, colleagues, things like that, which left probably about a good 1,200 of them. The only way originally to get your hands on this deck was to buy a brick of the white boxed luxury edition. They would give you one of these originally. Well, a big congratulations to Jeremy Griffith. He recently just had a baby boy, so congrats to him and his wife. Um, Illusionist decided they're going to release these, the rest that they have, and all of the uh, profits from this deck would go towards a college fund for Jeremy's son. So, once again, congrats on that, and, you know, what a great idea. So, uh, so yeah. Royal Reserve, we got this big black body tuck case here, beautiful, and this tuck case was actually printed by Clove Street Press. Um, Jeremy loved the way they did the Royal Reserve with all the gold foil and whatnot, and it is, it's truly beautiful. I mean, it's not embossed, it's more like, I guess you, it's like a letter press, almost. Um, so, you know, it's definitely textured. But you have Royal Reserve in this beautiful lettering edition. Down here you have luxury playing cards. 56 pieces, 3.22 ounces, and from the Republic Collection. Now, the Republic Collection. Another real quick background on this, guys. Now, Jeremy was obsessed, obsessed with the original... Um, Republic number two deck that Illusionist had to the point where he actually approached um, the owner of Illusionist and said, hey, let me buy the rights for this card. You know, let, please, let me. And Brad Christian looked at him and said, mm -mm, no, no, not going to happen. But I'll tell you what, you can join my team and we'll work on it together. And basically... They, you know, him and Brad Christian and whoever sat down and they, they tried to come up with it and they, it just wasn't working and, you know, and it got too expensive and they just kind of put it on the back burner. Well, Daniel Madison, Chris Ramsey, um, when he was there at Illusionist at the time, and also Peter McKinnon, who's also another brilliant mind, they said, you know what, listen, let us look into this and, you know, we got to get this made. So that's what they did. They basically found a place to get them printed and also got it printed cheaper, but at a better, better standard. Like they were, they got them made better, but cheaper. So I thought that was amazing. And these were basically born. So just a quick little FYI there for you guys. Didn't mean to bore you. Just want to give you some quick background on that. So these almost didn't exist at one point. And thanks to, I mean, of course, you know, illusionist in them, but because of Ramsey, Madison, and McKinnon, these uh, these kind of came back. So yeah, so yeah. Here at the bottom, you got a little bit of ad copy from Illusionist Playing Cards, and it says Royal Reserve there. Um, over here it says you only get smarter, and over here it says by playing a smarter opponent. And then here on the side it says Royal Reserve trademark. Here on this side it says Royal Reserve and there's a Two of Clubs reveal. 
Okay. Here on the top of the tuck, you have Royal Reserve in the same gold foil lettering. And then here on the tuck flap, it says Republic Collection. Nothing on the inside. All right. And it's this nice cardboard. It's not your typical, you know, this is a well-built tuck. And there's also no tuck seal, which is wonderful. So that's it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. <sighs> All right. So what are you going to get with this deck? Well, real quick before we get into that, here's the back design. Man, this is just an elegant design. I mean, this is really as elegant as it comes. It almost reminds me of like a uh, like a Louis Vuitton print. Like if you really look at it real quick, you know what I mean. It like kind of it kind of embodies that type of you know design or so what. So great design. Um, these cards are printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their thin retail stock. Okay. They are traditionally cut, they have a performance coating, and an air cushion embossed. So, beautiful, beautiful cards. I mean, all the way around. Good job, Jeremy and Illusionist. So, anyway, back to the cards. You're going to get a double backer, okay? Double backer. Great for magic tricks and things like that. You're going to also get two original jokers not exactly duplicates but pretty close one is in this nice like uh basically this bronzish ink color that follows the whole design of the deck and the other one is in black okay so you're gonna get that then you're also going to get another gaff card which is a acts as a king of hearts duplicate and a ten of spades duplicate so i got a trick i can show you guys with this card if you want to see it leave a comment below and i will do this trick on my instagram or i will do a tutorial on showing you guys how to do this trick with this card and you can actually do it with any kind of deck using any kind of card that is a double facer okay so let me know and i will do that for you so that's the card you get extra wise let's take a look at the rest <sighs> all right so you're gonna get shrunken down pips and indices but standard court cards uspcc standard little enlarged on that side so you're getting a little bit of both spectrums so let's take a look First, we'll go ahead and look at the spades. Of course, the beautiful prominent ace in all its glory. You have the big black spade pip with Royal Reserve in that copper kind of bronzish color I was talking about earlier. Okay. And then, like I said, you're getting the standard quartz. And these are all in black and white when it comes to the spades and the club side of it. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay, that's pretty much that for the spades. And you know what? We'll go ahead and do the diamonds just to give you a look at that color way I was speaking of. And like I said, as you see the shrunken down pips and indices here. And then here's that color I was speaking of, the copperish bronze color they added in the diamonds and hearts court cards okay and the same goes for the hearts as well you get the same color okay then the clubs like I was speaking of same thing black and white and to top it off the hearts as well okay very nice thin deck I mean <laughs> That performance coating is just a blessing on this deck. You know, you're getting perfect fans every time. That traditional cut, you know, gives you great pharaohs. Um, the trailer of this deck, you know, Jeremy showed that you can anti-pharaoh this deck. Um, that's something I've been practicing. I'm not even going to get into. I've done it like once perfectly. 
maybe twice once was on Instagram you can actually check that out if you want but yeah very hard and I still was two cards off so but yeah the one more thing I'm gonna leave you with I wasn't gonna do this I wasn't gonna show you guys I wanted you to find it yourself this deck is marked um real quick before you think marked what it's not marked for you know suit and number and all that like your typical marked decks this deck is actually marked for blackjack okay and I'm gonna show you what I mean real quick okay so blackjack you need an ace typically in a court card to get 21 right so let me break this down as quick as I can for you guys get you out of here so I'm going to try to do this as best as I can to show you guys. So, right here above the border on this card, right there, do you see this line, that white line? It looks like going through each one of those diamonds, so to speak, okay? But it's not thick like any, any other parts, right? And you can kind of see it if you look at it from a kind of afar. I know the light's kind of messing with it, but even here, you can look and you can see it's brighter, right? That middle is brighter. Let me get a little closer. See how it's thicker, open, than it is here in any of these other ones? You have that. See how thick that is? Those white lines in between. All right. Same with this one. You have two lines. You have this whole row with the thick white lines in between, and then this row. This lets you know that it's a king, queen, or jack, or ten. Okay? So you have that. And then when it just has the one line in between, that lets you know it is an ace. Okay? So just to show you, compare it to a non marked card. Okay? If you look here, same thing. This is a 10. You're going to get those thick white lines in between there on the two rows. And that's going to let you know it's a 10 through king. Okay? But if you look here, all right, these are going to be different. See? You're not going to get that. So those there are going to let you know that this is marked. Okay, so just a little quick FYI for you guys to know, you know, if you're into blackjack and that type of thing, that is one thing you can, uh, you can do. So, yeah, um, this deck is good for anything, cardistry, um, magic, the whole nine. I mean, of course, it's got the gaffes, so I would probably prefer it for magic, but it's good enough for anything as far as that's concerned. Um, I would definitely give this deck a 5 out of 5, okay? You get gaffes, um, it's a great deck, it's a collector's item, you know, if you collect decks like I do, I wish I would have grabbed two, but, you know, what can you do? So, yeah, that's it for today's review, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel... Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and then hit that little bell next to it so you're aware of any new videos that I put out, any giveaways, because guess what? If you're not a subscriber, you can't enter to win, and there, there's, it's coming. I think I'm only about eh, a good 25 or so subscribers away from giving away three more decks. Three. Three more. But anyway, in the meantime, till I do drop another video... If you want to follow me on any kind of social media, you can by following me on Instagram at Dysfunctional Magician. That's right, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for becoming a part of my dysfunctional family. And I'll see you later.